this is an interesting case that I treated a few years ago, and it certainly at least reinforces the need for the dental operating microscope in modern endodontics. And it, it also reinforces the need to have cameras attached to the microscopes, because you never know when you're going to run into something interesting, be it a fracture or, or aberrant anatomy inside of a tooth. This lady had an irreversible pulpitis. The occlusion had been adjusted several times. And radiographically, it appears to be, for the most part, a run-of-the-mill upper second molar. The off-angle x-ray doesn't show anything unusual or any great amount of concerns. So during treatment, we open up the tooth and we find the canals. Having the camera handy is nice because if we have any unusual anatomy, we can document it immediately. So this is cleaned out. We've seen the distobuccal and the palatal canals, and now we can see the MB1, the MB2, and the MB3. Upper second molars have one of the widest variations in internal anatomy of all of the teeth. So having a microscope and being comfortable using the microscope certainly is an advantage to both you and the patient. Here's the case fully obturated. And here are the post-operative x-rays. And the off-angle shot helps to show the case a little bit better. And the cone beam scan also gives us an idea of how good of a job we've done three-dimensionally sealing this tooth. You can clearly see the three mesiobuccal canals, 